we have via <coughs> NATO's de facto think tank, the Atlantic Council. Yeah. Uh, holding Putin's propagandists accountable for crimes in Ukraine. Um, this article pushes for the criminalization of pro-Russian commentary. Yeah. Or, you know, probably not even pro-Russian commun commentary, but pro-reality commentary. The international community now faces a critical moment. It also has a unique chance to create a legal framework and enforcement mechanism capable of implementation through international cooperation. Beginning at home, Ukraine's legal system requires amendments to systematize prosecutions in absentia for genocidal mm. incitement. International mm. partners must support these efforts by surging law enforcement resources to monitor the flood of violence, mm. uh, flood of calls for violence emanating from Russian media and for more shadowy Kremlin-backed propaganda platforms. More shadowy Kremlin-backed propaganda platforms. I so, mean, so this is this is like kind of carrying on the um, immediately jettisoned crusade of George Clooney and his wife, right? Because you know they like openly announced, and and like Medvedev said, well, some of our journalists will be looking for them in Europe, yeah. and then George Clooney was like, no, we're no, we're not going to be prosecuting Russian alleged Russian propagandists. No, perish the thought. Um, and the article continues for Russian propagandists to face criminal consequences for their conduct. International arrest warrants are indispensable. Bolstering political will for judicial accountability and opening criminal proceedings should be the two major areas of focus. So again, NATO's de facto think tank calling for crackdowns on your free speech. Yeah, but it's, I think it's also as well as just like what, what I thought was really interesting was the, the media tone on Gaza uh, changed significantly when the IC... Uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the it was the ICJ the ICC like they um, when they issued their preliminary findings mm. which is that like all of these statements by Israeli politicians which which are were quite clearly genocidal and intense um, uh, the, uh, it, 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 to say nothing of their actual actions in Gaza um, the the tone shifted significantly in the media like it was it was very perceptible I and mean, they're still whitewashing this and they're still like heavily complicit in propagandizing for genocide but that it, 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 there's much less tub thumping yeah and it's like and i thought there was a really interesting switch where like the economist what which is like a nakedly zionist um and it's one of the i think it's probably the worst english language quote unquote news resource out there by by some okay. margin um it makes me grind, makes me grind my teeth like just just reading but but like they um they they published a series of op-eds like slamming South Africa as claiming their case was completely flimsy, and then almost immediately after the preliminary um, uh, uh, findings were, were published, they changed their tune significantly and were even outright critical of what the Israelis were doing and and the war crimes that they were committing, so which they weren't before. Yeah. Right. Um, so I think that yeah, that, that I mean if 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 it's if. Russian Russian journalists are going to be who who have indeed called for genocide in Ukraine. Um, are going to be prosecuted. Well, let's get all all Western journalists, which is almost sure, all of yeah. them, in the dock as well. Like, yeah, I mean, and, and it's true. Russian media had there have been instances where people oh, yeah. have stepped over the line and and made very uh, awful, uh, morally uh, repugnant yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, comments. Yeah. However, this is not about them. This is about casting a wider net yeah. towards these more shadowy kremlin backed propaganda platforms you know yeah um, yeah but it's just but this is the thing as well is that like we've discussed this before before but like the uk national security act the terms of it are like so vague yeah that um it creates all sorts of new criminal offenses and in which someone can be found to have committed a criminal offense even if British authorities can't prove they have. I mean, it's just like it's Orwellian as anything. I think it it, it passed without a note of criticism in the um, uh, in the media. This is despite like uh, the press organisations were completely silent as well. This is despite like British government lawyers admitting that this will have a chilling effect on an already heavily controlled media, which does not hold the nat national security state to account in any meaningful way. They, the British parliamentarians, when they were debating this, openly stated, "Well, we want we want to prevent another WikiLeaks." Yeah, like, and that was right. that was the purpose. Right. But I think that yeah, the, the whole point of creating law, which is so broad and vague that anyone can be 
that almost anyone will break it without knowing, wanting to, intending to, um, is so you can go after literally anyone. Yeah, right. But on any grounds. Yeah, you put you put the law in place so that you can uh, engage in selective prosecution. You can yeah, 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 absolutely. People that you really you absolutely, know, and it's like, yeah, and it's like you know, I, I've some of the files that I've reported on. Um, uh, which where people have have claimed without any accompanying evidence that oh well like these these were like hacked by Russia right have been reported on by the mainstream media right and I somehow don't think it's going to be these <laughs> like sure, journalists yeah. in the dock like yeah. like for for, for could breaching. you imagine the Guardian um, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> getting I mean it'd be funny I'd actually kind of enjoy that well like, the kind of sadistic. <laughs> Where, you, where is where, your solidarity, my friend? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, everyone. Um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.